we have certain documents which were not presented in court uh, for reasons only the Justice Department of America would have. But uh, these documents would indicate that as early as 1946, 1947, 1948, even before President Marcos entered the world of politics, when he first entered, he was a congressman in one of the districts in Ilocos Norte, where he's from. So you could imagine that even at that time, not imagine, but I am stating the fact that at that time, 1946, 47, 48, there are other documents, but we are going to just show uh, some of this so that you could see that attorney Ferdinand E. Marcos, and that is the acknowledgement done by the bank itself of several metric tons of precious metals. In some of the documents, it would all be stated also what, what the bank would do upon the instructions of attorney Ferdinand Edron V. Marcos regarding the conversion or the uh, dollar uh, amount of this uh, thousands of metric tons of precious metals. So here are documents which, as I've said, we've obtained early on from some of the court uh, evidences that were not presented but were kept, uh, I don't know, in secret or kept by the Justice Department of the United States of America. So there you have another document here, which also is addressed to Attorney Ferdinand E. Marcos, and the date there says April 10, 1948. And there again are the re is, is the request for the instructions, as, uh, the referral to several uh, tons of precious metals and, metals, and also what to do insofar as the payment is concerned. What I'm trying to say at this particular uh, point is this. So, again, we have another document here, 1948, likewise. So, these are the dates that are important and the, and the communication address to attorney Ferdinand Edrelin Marcos. So, let, let's finish with these documents. Anyway, what is important here is for us to note that President Marcos, when he was still an attorney and has not even entered the world, of, the world of politics, already had several deposits of precious metals in Swiss banks. And he also was given communication regarding what to do with this, what kind of payment or when these payments are going to be made to him.